Good morning, mother suckers. Welcome back to another video. My name is Tony Bears G. If you are new to this channel, welcome. And uh, this is your first video. I hope you guys enjoy. Who am I with? I'm with one of my best buds right here. We got James right behind me. Yesterday I was fishing with Aaron and Kenneth and we did A-OK. -okay. So I'm back for redemption. And this is my second outing of 2020. His first outing of 2020. So yep. hopefully he gets on some. And I'm supposed to be meeting a subscriber out here uh he's somewhere but if he gets here he gets here if he doesn't he doesn't it is what it is we got two goals today one is to catch a fish or catch some fish catch something get a bite two is to catch some more fish <laughs> but uh yeah we're out here um and if you guys are wondering what i'm gonna be throwing most likely some major kajik paras maybe some spin maybe some irons maybe some jerk baits i don't know kitex mm, who knows we're just gonna cycle through some baits, figure it out. It is winter still here in San Diego. Kind of chilly, but not extremely chilly. But uh, we will see what San Diego Bay has to offer. So like I said, second outing of 2020. Let's get this year started right, all right guys? So stay tuned and let's go. Bright and early. No, well not bright, but dark and early. Fishing the outgoing tide. Let's, let's get him. Yep, that's pretty deep. That's how I was getting them yesterday. <laughs> so you can't, you can only see half of the Coronado Bridge. Eyebrows are frozen. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yes, sir. What's up, man? <laughs> Let's meet you, Tony. Nice man. To meet you. you just got out here? Uh, yeah, dude. Just over there. Slow? Uh, I didn't even cast out. Dude, I forgot all my tackle at home. I, I didn't throw my, my tackle. I've done, done that before, dude. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ended up having like a bag of Walmart shit in the back somewhere. No, I should actually kept, keep it like an emergency. Yeah, I still have like, in my car, I have like a little bag of Ned rigs I was gonna throw away. So I just left it in the corner. So just in case <laughs> it's there. <laughs> yeah, dude, if we can give it a shot. You should get bit with that grub. Hey, good luck, guys. Yeah, Thank you. Too. I'm gonna switch to a brighter color. Something, uh, that stands out because this light big color i don't know if you guys can see it's pretty dark probably be a lot better when the sun's actually out so i'm going to change to something that is that is not as natural and maybe they'll get curious and eat it let's go to bright white Give it a little pop in the water. Right there, bro, right in front of you. No. There's a lot of bait right there. I'm start walking down there or down there? There's too many people down there. There we go. Nice. Lizard fish. I know it's a lizard fish. Hundred percent lizard fish. <laughs> Dang! Shake that out. Yeah, skunk is off, I guess. I mean, a catch is a catch. They're right in the bottom of the lip. Not bad. You will survive to see another day, my friend. Little tiny lizard fish. Ah, that was a bite too. Is it? 
Dude, <laughs> even smaller. <laughs> oh, he, he ate the whole treble. Yeah. Dude, you are done, homie. How'd you fit that treble in your mouth? Little guy. Sorry, man. Rest in peace, homie. He would have survived if that one of the trebles didn't go straight into his brain. Oh. That was funny, dude. Two lizard fish back to back. Let's see if I can get a third. Any luck? Two lizard fish. <laughs> Two little lizard fish. Slow, man. Slow morning. I was throwing a little iron then yeah. some Kitex. Yeah, the Kitex. Uh, the one I got was actually on a Jakara earlier, but then I snagged it and broke it off. Damn it. That's, uh, that seems to be the regular with those baits. <laughs> Uh, this area, maybe about 15 feet, 20 oh, feet. It? Yeah, and then it's all sand. Okay. The more you go down to the right, it gets grassier and there's patches of rocks. Yeah, I think there's some grass like right here. Cause that was, when I moved a little bit down this way, I started to hit some grass and then it broke off. And like a patch right in here. We might make a drive down to the right side. Yeah. To that big parking lot. Yeah, there's a there's a park over there. We park over there and we walk to the right. That's what we're probably gonna do. You gonna head down that way too? Yeah. Let's check it out. They give you a proper handshake, man. Yes, man. Tony. Tom, man. Good All good. right, you too. Woo wee! All right, well, James on the phone right now, but met up with Tom, my subscriber. <laughs> he was down there. He landed a couple before we showed up. But uh, we got a couple ourselves. Well, obviously, I only caught lizard fish. And um, James got a bass, lizard, and a macro. So the side we were on over here, didn't. it wasn't too well. I mean, it wasn't too good or great. I mean, we see life out here. We see boils, etc. cetera, but not, nothing's committing. So we're going to head over to the west end and give it a shot over there. And hopefully something bites. Second outing of 2020. You know what? I'm not even complaining. Coming out here on a Sunday morning, nice and sunny. And uh, just being by the water, you guys cannot beat that. Especially being out here with good company, you know, with James and uh, meeting some of you guys out here. I already met two guys out here, Tom and the other gentleman. I forget his name, I'm sorry. But we are gonna head over to the West End right now and hopefully we catch something. So you guys stay tuned, all right, let's go. You guys see that behind me? You can't even see the freaking shoreline. Look at that. That marine layer is no joke out here, but <laughs> it's nice. At least it's not burning hot and uh, it's not cold. It feels nice. It feels great. What do you think? It feels, it feels real good, good compared to compared to last time. Caught some fish. But, there you go. Continue to catch more fish. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's go. Uh, so. uh, first, first outing for you in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. But uh, you guys check out right behind me. Tom Ham's lighthouse is right behind me and that marine layer is thick dude and it's no joke but maybe that's good for fishing maybe it's not you guys comment below and also comment below if you guys already went out for your first trip of 2020 how did you guys do did you guys catch anything you know large mouth bluegill mackerel smelt I bass know. i want to know so comment below if you guys already gone out sorry for the darkness uh, yeah, i'm in the, i'm in the shade right now but enough of this rambling on the chest you guys go yeah so wait, where were you at Minnesota? St. Cloud. Okay. So I was, I was about, I was about an hour or two hours away from the Twins. Yep. And I was maybe about an hour and a half away from Fargo. Yeah. It's a nice town. Population, it's there. <laughs> it's there. All around me are familiar. <laughs> Dirt on dirt. You got the hook too? Cause I'm gonna throw one ounce, bro. It's getting real, guys. Going back to my roots. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like, like Which one's open already? This one. That I don't know. 
Boom, vintage. Look at that. Nostalgia right there, guys. Oh, God, it stinks. It freaking stinks. All right. Two inch sandworm drop shot. Boom. Man, if this doesn't bring you back, I don't know what else does. One ounce drop shot. Now, moment of truth. Better not get no lizard fish on this. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. It just got heavy. I don't know if it's the weight that is heavy or the fish. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> the dry spell is done. So for the sandworm. <laughs> First drop shot fish of the year. There's life out here. There's life out here, guys. Gotta get it before everyone else does. Drop shot sandworm, one ounce, about a foot liter. All right, all right, suckers. We are calling it a day. It was not the best. I mean, what? It wasn't the worst either. It wasn't the worst. He caught his first fish of 2020, which is pretty damn dope. Good for him. Yeah. And it was dope fishing with Tom. He is leaving us now somewhere. Where is he? Boom, right over there. So shout out to Tom for coming out and fishing with us. And good talks, man. Good talks with you. And I appreciate your knowledge. And I hope you take my knowledge uh, to heart and, you know, figure it out out there. But other than that, it was all right out here. Can't complain. Harbor Island, beautiful, beautiful winter morning here in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Cannot beat that. So you guys already know what happened in the video. So not that much fish caught. Had the result to the drop shot and still only one produce. fish. <laughs> it's, it's still produced. It produced one. You know, nostalgia to the max right there. Drop shot sandworm. Always comes in clutch. I don't know why, but it, it worked. So always have that in your bag or, or whatever your, your juju is. It could be a drop shot curly tail, mullet. I don't know. I don't care. Just get out there and fish. Get your lines wet. That's all I ask. Put in the awesome. time. Yep, exactly. Put in the time. But I'm going to close it out right there. Everything I use will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out. All right. If you guys are curious about rods, reels, lines, baits, all that good stuff check the description below but until then guys as always good fishing and peace the hell out